Hey guys, it's Kugel again with another ROM review and this time I've got Validus ROM version 5.0 by Ground Zero ROMs for Galaxy S3. Now, um, I've been largely unaware of this ROM until recently someone suggested I look into this ROM and this is actually a really special ROM. So, uh, without much ado, let's get into the ROM now. First of all, what you would see here is the lock screen and now, uh, Ground Zero ROM, I guess they have this theme with clowns and especially scary clowns. So you will see a lot of those uh, in here in the boot animation, in the settings menu, in the everything, everywhere you will see that. Now, first of all, the launcher is Nova Launcher. As you can see, it's the basic launcher in here. Uh, it is an AOSP based ROM, so you do have all the AOSP features. Uh, it also includes all this, uh, most of the Cyanogen mod and PA settings like uh, Halo, um, Active Display, Luxury Notification, etc. etc. It does have a lot of those settings also. So let's get into the settings menu. First of all, in the settings, uh, let's go to About Phone. You can see Validus. Uh, it is based on the KitKat version. It has V5.0 released on 23rd. So yeah, I'm a little bit late, but yeah, it's there. Uh, well, this update, you do have an updater in build, but I guess it's not the Delta style. It's just the normal downloader. So you have that. Now, let's get into settings now. In the advanced setting, you can see there are a few settings. First of all, the void. Now, <laughs> most of these are named after clown. So Jack of Bo Jack Box of tricks i guess it's clown name pennywise bottle of pennywise the scary clown from it a movie so you have a lot of those uh, first of all let's get into the status bar in the status bar option you have cloak and date option so it does include a font option which you can use to change the font of the clock um, you can have the alignment set AMPM indicator, date indicator, etc. etc. You have a lot of options there. You do have general option which includes brightness control, which you can select if you don't use the automatic brightness option. You do also have the network speed indicator, which is which was there right now. So you can see it is using the network speed indicator. So you have that. Uh, battery icon. Now in the battery icon, you have the basic settings. You can change the battery icon to a, a whole lot from the Sanjay mod series. But you can also have the battery bar location set, and uh, well, n normally it's in the top position or uh, things like that. So you have, you can have that. You can also have battery bar thickness, etc., etc. You have a lot of options there. So that's really cool. Now in the notification and QS drawer settings, it, this is actually the slim style um, notification drawer. So you have a lot of options. You can have. Um, all of these options which means it's really cool you have smooth smart pull down you have styles which is really great you can change it to four or five tiles uh, per row etc etc you have a lot of options there that's really cool uh, it's pretty much the one of the best uh, quick, set, quick setting drawer available for Android now clock widget is the C clock widget you can customize it as you would in any other ROM so I'm not going to get too much into that it does include a custom LCD density uh, apply function in build into it so you don't have to go for another app to change your LCD density if you want bigger icons go for a bigger number if you want smaller icons go for a smaller number but do be um, be advised that it will cause a few problems with the Play Store um, it will not, but you can actually have a expose module which will send a normal DPS setting for all apps. So yeah, no problems there. Now in the jack of box, jack box of tricks, you will have extra options like disable FC notification. If you have done a uh, system UI change, you have changed the system UI or they began is giving you a lot of FC notification. Well, without any problems, then you can just disable FC notification, which will not display any FC, but it will work. So, no problems there. Custom uh, carrier label. You can actually d uh, have a custom carrier label. Right now, carrier is showing uh, with the phone, so you can have that changed. Animations are really cool. You can have actually change the list view animation, which is cool. You can have that. This is more or less the old style of list view anima uh, animation settings. So yeah there are newer options available but uh that's more intuitive so you can have that toast animation is also available so you can change the toast animation to something you like it comes with exposed installer but you have to install it manually so you have to click the install update button here so you can have that custom progress bar which is uh, seen in almost all the roms right aosp based roms right now so you have all that options also so that's really cool um so that 
is not it. Uh, you have Portal of the Pennywise, which actually gives you option to download the G apps. So that's actually the basic thing, and also it gives you the um, option to join their uh, their forum, uh, official G Zero forum or Droid Hive, where you can support them. So you can have that. So that's really cool you have that in the inside the settings so yeah it does also feature a system app remover which is really cool if you want to install the Google experience launcher which I do personally you can remove the Nova launcher from here so that is really cool you can just click Nova launcher you can delete it but be advised it can cause a few problems if you delete something essential it does have wake clock blocker which is useful for some people it will disable the wake clock which um, well I'm not sure if it improves or decreases the battery life but still uh, you can experiment with that and yeah you can get the, re the benefits of it in the navigation option you can have all of these it does give you global menu option you can add things to this thing uh, well, you can add things to this menu you can add custom apps you can add anything you want you can change the location of this and yeah you can have a lot of fun with it hardware button you can actually change all the bindings of this you can change all the bindings you can enable um, navigation bar and change everything there you can have a lot of options there so it's not limited to anything so you can have a lot of option you can really um, do all kind of stuff you need so that's really cool um, what else do we have? It does have GC Pi, which is actually the Slim Pi setting. You can in it is enabled. You can see the Slim Pi is working right now. So you can have that if you don't actually wish to have this one rather than whatever. So you can have that. It does have Omni Switch, which works good. Um, kind of a normal feature, normal task switching feature. So you can have that. So that's really cool. Kernel Tweaker. Now this one. Um, well, it's more of an information stuff. It gives you the information on uh, the cores, the status, the uh, speed of the cores, the state, time in state, uh, a new CPU state, etc., etc. You can have a lot of options here. You can actually change, uh, restore, refresh, and reset all these settings. So you can monitor them. So that's really cool. It does have Halo, which is really cool. It is uh, the Halo latest one with Ninja mode and etc., etc. You can have that. It's really great. Um, I personally don't use Halo, so I can't talk too much about that either so yeah dark symmetry is the uh, TRDS option so it is TRDS 3.0 so you can have all the options available there so that's really cool you can enable that to just change everything to black and white so that's really great now it uses the super su module rather than the inbuilt super user thing from other ROMs which I really appreciate the inbuilt super user thing eh, it's it's whatever for me uh, super user I normally install super su uh, it comes with it so that's really really great in the advanced option you can have you can change all of these app privacy options which is really cool you can change the um, uh, the permissions required for each app and you can uh, do things with it which well if you know what permissions are you can do with it but if you don't know it just leave it alone uh, haptic feedback you can change the vibration strength which almost I always I do I keep it at 20 or something like that um, audio etc etc you have a lot of options there also okay. now here is the lock screen notification option which you can enable um, I don't think it has active display it has the notification lock, uh, lock screen notification option which you saw with the which you know what it is it will give you a slide here which you can slide off and it does have pocket mode which really works out pretty good so that's really great um, apart from that it's normal uh, style of these um, security option you do have advanced reboot which you have to enable from security option rather than the advanced device option so yeah that's there um, the display option you can see the normal things are here you can enable the CRT animations etc you can change it to scale down don't show it fade animation etc etc you have a lot of options there um, apart from that it's basically a normal ROM in the apps you can see it has the uh, slim style uh, camera option which is probably the best one yet so you have that so that's really great uh, apart from that all the said the apps are proprietary to wireless rom you can see the wireless explorer which is actually a normal generic explorer but it has a wireless naming to it also wireless torch which um, has a theme to it so that's really cool so yeah i guess that is it in the app section i'll show you guys the boot animation which i think is pretty uh, scary 
So here is the Valdus Rom boot animation which shows you all the bad stuff, stuff of nightmare. It shows Ground Zero Rom. Yeah, it is Ground Zero Rom. Validus. This is 5.0, it doesn't say 5.0 there. So, I guess that much is it about the ROM. Again, the speeds and stuff like that is something which you can expect out of a KitKat ROM. So, I'm not going to get too much into the benchmarking stuff and like that. Uh, RAM usage is really cool. You do have a good RAM usage which is expected of the um, ROM, with the KitKat ROM. So, I'm not going to get too much into that either. So, you can see it is 400 something megs, 398 megs free right now. So yeah, it's something expected out of KitKat ROM, so yeah. I guess that much is it about the ROM. Hope you guys like the video. Please share, subscribe and like the video if you found it useful. See you guys next time. Bye.